What's up, YouTube family? So in this video, we're going to be doing my very first cash stuffing on this channel. I'm so excited for it. Like, I'm real serious about this budget journey. And if you guys are on a budget journey with two for 2021, let me know in the comment box down below. And also, what are your financial goals for this year? But all right, let's hop right on into it. Okay, so I have everything set up now. Uh, 50s, 20s, 10s, 5s. And it probably would be better for me to have like the little cash drawer so everything just... It's more for aesthetics. Like I can't even say that it would probably be better because it wouldn't. It would be the same, only it would just be in a drawer. <laughs> like I'm just trying to look for reasons to spend money, y'all. It's just for aesthetics. I don't need a cash drawer right now. So it's just going to stay like this for right now. Um, I have my uh, envelope breakdown right here so I know how much I said every was supposed to go in each envelope. And yeah, so let's open this up. And it is broken down into categories. I put it each category on the little tabs. So my first category is for everyday things. So again, that is gas, grocery, household, and self-care. So all of that is in my everyday. And then the second one is prep and landing. And I know the title sounds really weird, but it was the first thing that popped into my head when I was putting the envelopes together and trying to classify exactly what they were. And then once it popped into my head, I couldn't think of anything else that sounded as good or made sense for those things. So I just left it at prep and landing. And I'm still not sure what the landing part means, but <laughs> it is what it is. I'm weird like that. Once I think of something, nothing else sounds good enough after that. And so I just went with it, whatever. So prep and landing is for stuff that I am preparing for. Uh, no, this is every day. Sorry. My bad. Wrong side. Here we go. So this is for Tom Tom, for Theo, so like the, again, their birthdays, um, allowances, any little things that they want to do that are extra, preparing for that. So beauty, and not only is that like my hair, but like the boys' haircuts and stuff like that, and then saving for back to school, um, and then of course, my glasses. So that all is what goes into prep and landing. Still don't know what the title means, but it is what it is. Um, oops, wrong side, wrong side. There we go. And then after prep and landing, we have my long-term goals, which are my new car, uh, my retirement, and Jesus fix it. This says new house, new house, retirement, and my new car. Uh, I'm tired, y'all. Please don't judge me. Um, so putting that back. And then my third category of things is my build section. And I put it as build because these are all funds that I want to build the amount of money that I have in them. Like these are just things that I'm just wanting to stack. So for my emergency fund, car maintenance, travel, and my business, I want to be able to build the amount of money that I have in all of those things. So yes, let's get started. Now that you guys know what my categories are, let's begin. So starting first with every day, self-care, gas, grocery, and household. And please do not mind that these two are backwards. I wasn't paying attention when I was putting the stickers on the envelopes, how I was writing everything. And so I didn't realize that the opening was here. And so this is upside down, but whatever. It's, it's for me, it's not for anybody else. So it's fine. All right, so gas, sit you there. So gas we have at $20 and that gets to 10. And then this little sheet here is also something that I got off of Etsy. Um, so it is just like my, 
like the savings tracker so you write how much you put in how much is left so got these off of Etsy they were extra I think it was like two dollars for these and for the other sinking fun sheets tracker things that I showed you guys that was also I think like three dollars so it was very inexpensive but again it was just something extra so gas so starting balance we're starting at twenty dollars and that will go back in here And then we go to grocery, which gets 60. And we have that 320s to 460. And then I already have a receipt in here because my last paycheck, my last paycheck of December, I had set aside $60 for groceries. And so I just put the receipt in the envelope when I took the money out. And I, again, that was when I had spent the $60.28, so that is still in here, which I feel like I can throw away now because that's over and we've replaced the money. So that receipt can go in the trash. Let me write on you. And again, I know you're probably like, $60 is not a lot for grocery shopping, but that's just to get the stuff that I like to eat. Because, like I said, Thomas gets money for our groceries, courtesy of the military every month. So he does bulk of our um, grocery shopping. But I like just other things that my family doesn't eat. Like, I don't try to put them on my diet, even though I'm keto. They're not. So... All the things that he buys, not all of it can I eat. So I just buy the stuff that I can eat with my own money. And then household gets 30, which we said was getting a 20 and a 10. And that is for stuff like paper towels, toilet paper, um, Honestly, we need like a new living room set. So if I can, probably just save up for that because we really need one. And then for self care, we said that was getting 40. It's just two 20s. Um, and now this goes back into every day and we go into prep and landing, take those out. Okay, so glasses again, I still don't know how much exactly I want to put away for this. So I didn't take money out of the bank for this. So we're just going to put this to the side at the moment um so for Tom Tom I said he was getting 10 he gets two fives and just recently he decided that he wants to be a boxer when he grows up like for the longest it's been a police officer but now he has decided, he saw the movie Creed like five times on Prime. And now all of a sudden he's decided that he wants to be a boxer. So. Mommy? Yes, Rugrat? Is it lunchtime? <laughs> yeah. Mommy, who's oh, no. named Tom Tom? Thomas, you know who that is. Mommy, I have to put Tom Tom as me. Because. That's what mommy calls you, but give me one second. Mommy's doing a video, okay? 
Alright. Alright, so here we're gonna put ten dollars. And we'll put this back. It's not how I want you. Okay, I'll sit that to the side and then same for Theo. He gets two fives as well. And then for beauty, we have that at $20, which is just two tens. And then for back to school, we have that is getting 40, so 220s. make noise while you make your lunch yep. okay so moving on to long term which again new car new house retirement so retirement gets why do I have oh so retirement gets 70 not 50 Let me write that in. Even though I could put 50 in retirement and then take these two 20s that I have left over and put them in my glasses envelope. Because even though I don't know how much the glasses are gonna cost right now, I can still put something in there to go towards whatever it costs. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me take this 20 back. Sorry, retirement. And these envelopes I also got off of Etsy from another seller. Um, if I can find her name, I'll put it in the description box. Like, they're really cute. I like them a lot. They're just kind of small. And I kind of wish that I waited and got the, um, the like, bigger envelopes, like the ones Budget Treasures does or Triple MTV, like how they have the 
the little bags basically with the zipper. I feel like that'll be able to hold more money than these things because this, once I really get to stuffing, this binder that I got from Dollar Tree is gonna be super full. <sighs> but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. All right, so now for a new house that also gets 50. a struggle to put everything in here and so then moving to new car also gets a 50 so what did I skip because I shouldn't have an extra 50 I skipped something I don't think I did emergency fund that's what I didn't do all right so we'll go back and fix that hadn't gotten to it yet there we go so now we're going into our build category where emergency fund lives there we go that makes more sense design on the top to stick out because it kind of acts like a tab so yeah so emergency fund gets 50 and my last 50 goes to car maintenance travel and business well we already know travel's not getting anything so I'll set that aside and then for business I didn't intend on putting anything aside for this in this cash stuffing so I think I'm gonna leave it as nothing and put this 40 like I said I was in glasses so let me put this back into build and glasses and prep and landing y'all I still don't know what that means but for some reason it sounds right in my head so I'm weird like that <laughs> once something sounds good in my head it just it's what it is for forever like I still say the grace over my food that I made up when I was six like 31 years old still saying the grace that I said when I was six years old but nothing else sounds right so I refuse to change it but okay glasses goes back in here 
and we're done. That is it, guys. That was my very first cash envelope stuffing of 2021. There will be more to come because I get my first actual paycheck of the year in like two days. So we'll be back here real soon. So yeah, please make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments, like, do you have any financial goals for this year? Are you trying to get anything? If you see I made a mistake somewhere also, please let me know because math is not my thing. But <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one.